The UK left the EU political structures and the European Parliament on January 31st in 2020. I talk a lot about this on my Brexit channel. But the EU, of course, moved forward after Brexit. But what happens in the EU today? One of those topics I have in today's video for you. The European Commission adopted a new growth plan for the Western Balkans with the aim of bringing some of the benefits of membership to the region in advance of accession, boost economic growth and accelerate much needed socio-economic convergence. The objective should be to enable partners to step up reforms and investments to significantly accelerate the speed of the enlargement process and the growth of their economies. For this, a new 6 billion euro reform and growth facility for the Western Balkans has been proposed for the period 24 to 27. Payments will happen only after the fulfillment of agreed reforms. The new growth plan for the Western Balkans is based on four pillars aimed at certain steps. One is enhancing economic integration with the European Union single market, subject to the Western Balkans aligning with single market rules and opening the relevant sectors and areas to all their neighbors at the same time, in line with a common regional market. And seven priority actions are suggested. First is the free movement of goods. Second, the free movement of services and workers. Third, the access to the single euro payments area, that's ZEPA. Fourth is the facilitation of road transport. Fifth is the integration and decarbonization of energy markets. The sixth is digital single market. The seventh is the integration into industrial supply chains. Boosting economic integration within the Western Balkans through the common regional market based on EU rules and standards, which could potentially add 10% to their economies, is an important step. Accelerating fundamental reforms, including on the fundamentals cluster, supporting the Western Balkans' path towards EU membership, improving sustainable economic growth, including through attracting foreign investments and strengthening regional stability, is another. And increasing financial assistance to support the reforms through a reform and growth facility for the Western Balkans for the period 24 to 27, a proposal for a new instrument worth 6 billion, as I said, consisting of 2 billion in grants and 4 billion in concessional loans, with payment conditioned on the Western Balkans partners fulfilling specific socio economic and fundamental reforms. As part of the growth plan, every Western Balkan partner will be invited to prepare a reform agenda based on existing recommendations, including from the annual enlargement package and the country's economic reform programs. This reform agenda will be consulted with, assessed and adopted by the Commission. And European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said about this, with this adoption of the new 6 billion growth plan for the Western Balkans, we are bringing the Western Balkans economies closer to the EU. The potential of this growth plan is extraordinary. This growth plan could double the economy of the Western Balkans in the next 10 years. With its combination of reforms and investments, it will allow the Western Balkan to benefit soon from key areas of our single market, including free movement of goods, services and workers, the single euro payments area, transport, energy and the digital single market, she said. It is now for the European Parliament and the Council to examine the proposal for the facility in the framework of the MFF midterm review package. Once adopted, the six Western Balkan partners will be invited to submit their individual reform agendas, laying out the socio-economic and fundamental reforms they will undertake to spur growth and convergence under the growth plan during the period of 24 to 27. Serbia and Kosovo need engage too constructively in the EU-facilitated dialogue on normalization of relations led by the High Representative as a necessary precondition. I talked about this yesterday. Economic convergence is an essential element in getting the Western Balkan countries closer to the EU. Currently, the level of convergence between the Western Balkan partners and the EU 
is not progressing fast enough with average GDP per capita in purchasing power for the Western Balkan partners standing at between 30% and 50% of the EU average. Integration with the EU single market has been the main driver of economic growth for all countries that joined the EU. The positive impact on a country's GDP and income levels that arise from the integration with the EU single market has been clearly demonstrated in the past. And if you want to know more, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.